We speak about the journey of the pursuit of excellence. Along the journey, there may be opportunities or times that occur where athletes experience failure. How important is it to be able to respond to them failures in order to achieve excellence? Failure is an inevitability. And in the process, what you described as the road that one takes to excellence, you're going to fail in two different ways. You're going to fail by losing matches, whether you're a tennis player, a football player, a boxer, whatever. But also, when you're on the training pitch, you're going to fail occasionally because you're going to be setting yourself tasks that are really tough. That's the way you really improve, by being prepared to do things that are just beyond your current level of ability. If you're prepared to do that and accept the failure as evidence that you're improving, Top ice dancers, they fall over in practice because they're attempting incredibly difficult jumps. But it's by attempting them you eventually get to be able to perform them. And once they can do the great jump, they go for the quadruple axle or the quintuple. It's that process of continually pushing yourself. So you have to accept and embrace failure on the route to the top in the right way. Michael Jordan, terrific basketball player, probably the best of all time, he did a brilliant night commercial where he listed all the failures, the times he had missed match-winning baskets. In practice, the amount of times he's messed up. The reason he did that is he was not celebrating failure, he was recognising it's only by encompassing failure that you can get to the top.